Hey what is up guys, I hope you are doing well. I'm back here with another deck for the Black Sun expansion and it is a Monsters Thrive Sir scratch -a -lot deck. It is really consistent, it's really good and it's very straightforward. So I'm going to show you how it works. Alright, so first of all this is a Force of Nature deck and a Force of Nature deck just means you get to play the Woodland Spirit which is a 9 point card. So this is how this deck works. It's not your normal setup. What I try to do is, I try to play my scenario in round one, because all you really need is round control, so you can go into a very short round with Sir Scratchlot and Koschi. So we're going to start off with round one playing the Mainus Dark Secret. This will progress whenever you play a unit with Thrive, which is ideal because we have a bunch of those cards. So the prologue will spawn a cursed damsel on this row. A Cursed Damsel is a Thrive card. So the Cursed Damsel is quite a straightforward one. She's Thrive and she will half her own power and destroy an enemy unit with power up to the power she removed from herself. So you can use her to destroy an enemy or you can just use her as a simple Thrive card. The next one is what's going to give us a little bit more tempo. So with Chapter 1, whenever you play a unit, if it would not have triggered any of your Thrive cards, this scenario will boost the card by two before you play it onto the board. So let's say you have a Cursed Damsel on the board, which is a four point Thrive card, and you play a Necker. Now because the Necker is only one point, it will not trigger the Damsel. And because of that, the scenario will give the Necker extra two points and then you'll play it onto the board as a three point card. So basically this gives us a lot more tempo and it allows us to trigger our Thrive cards more easily. The chapter two part is another reason why I play this in round one. This will allow you to play the highest power bronze monster unit from your deck. That's not a really good card to end off with if you're going to play this in round three. It's not a finisher, it's more of a round one sort of mechanic that allows you to thin your deck. So your biggest bronze card is going to be your uh, Necker Warrior, which is a seven point card. So that's also very nice to get out in round one. If this card would not have triggered any of your Thrive units, it will instead damage itself by three and turn into a Thrive card itself. So if all of your Thrive cards are bigger than seven or if you have none of them on the board, this card will turn into a four point card and it will also have Thrive. Pretty straightforward, right? So some of the other cards we want to play out in round one is of course the Necker, which is the Thrive card. We have the Cursed Damsel. We have the Orchard Man Trap, which is also interesting. This is a Cursed Plant. So you can choose to play it on the melee row, which will allow it to consume an allied unit. And this unit will then trigger Thrive an additional time. So if you place this on the board, your Thrive cards will go off twice if it triggers them to begin with. And then on the range row, it will infuse two allied units with Thrive. So if you want to, you can give two of the cards on the board that don't have Thrive, Thrive. So all in all, a nice four provision card. We also have Pallor as a Purify because we have some strong engines in round three and we don't want those to be locked or poisoned. So some extra stuff we can play for tempo is the Witch Apprentice. So Sabbath is um, triggered if you have 25 points on one of your rows. And at the end of the turn, this card will boost itself by two. Now, another card I really like to get out in round one if possible is Old Spirit of Asleep. This you have to have on the board for three turns. It will then pull out Old Spirit Up, which is 12 points. And it will turn into one card worth 18 points. Now, if somebody damages this card, Old Spirit Up will pop onto the board, but it will only be 12 points. Now, the reason we want to play this round one is not only because it thins out Spirit Up, but it also allows you to play Osral in round two or three for 19 points. Because if you can successfully get an 18 point card in your graveyard, Osra has 19 points and that's insane. Okay, so let's go over to our win condition. Why do we so desperately want round control? Well, this is so we can go into a short round and one that is completely uh, set up appropriately. So we want to have the cave troll out on the board so that we can protect the cards. Secondly, 
we want to put Sir Scratchlot on the board. Sir Scratchlot is great. At the start of the game, it has immunity. And after that, every turn, you can replay it. It will lose its immunity, but it will increase by two points every time you play it. And every time you play it, you're going to increase all your Thrive cards because it's going to be triggering them every time. Now, we're going to pair that with Caranthier. Caranthier will either always go on to Sir Scratchalot, which is not optimal, or it will go on to Koshi, which is optimal. So then you want to play Caranthier into Koshi. Caranthier will make a copy of Koshi, and then we just slam Sir Scratchalot back on the board, triggering Koshi again. Koshi has Adrenaline 4, meaning you want to play it when you have 4 cards left in your hand. So Koshi would be the 5th card. Um, if you do that, whenever this card's Thrive is triggered, so it's 4 now, it needs to be 5, 6, 7, it will spawn an Andrega Larva in the row, which is pretty awesome. So if we do that with Caranthier, the next turn, we play the Koshi, which is in our hand, place it onto the board, and there's Sir Scratchlot comes back onto the board every turn triggering the thrive ability we also have the leader ability perfectly set up for this so we have the woodland spirit to trigger it again and it's just so many points in a short round it's insane also your opponent can't really do anything about it at this point so besides that we just have the three crones they're just great value so you have brewers you preferably want to play first then you have Whispers, which will damage an enemy by 4 if it's the second card you play. And then you have Weavers, which will boost an allied unit by 6 if it's the third card you play. Okay guys, that is the basic setup of this deck. It's actually really strong, it's super consistent, it got me up a rank like this. I hope you guys like it, and I will be back with more decks soon. Okay, so we're playing against Skeddy. Okay, so, bear with me. My theory is to play the scenario in round one. And then go into a short round with a scratch a lot and Koshi. Just a theory. It's just a theory. Calm down, chat. Do not panic. I think it has the potential to work. No! <laughs> Go for it. Yeah, so it's to get more tempo around one, essentially. Fuka is the way. Nice. Okay, so now we have the passive ability that will give us a two-point boost every time we don't trigger to thrive. And then thirdly, we'll be able to play a bronze card from our deck, which is for thinning purposes. Uh, Adel, thanks for the follow. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to infuse one of those to thrive, or both of them actually. I acknowledge that Fuka is the way. I don't, I don't know if I did that. I, I can't, can't recall actually. Uh, let's see. All right, so now we have two extra Thrive cards on the board. Nice. Hey, Famous S, how are you doing? Harmony is good. Yeah, we definitely will play some Harmony at some point, that's for sure. How dare they do that. Next, Cursed Damsel. Hell yes. That's what I'm talking about. Winning on even. <laughs> This might be the list. Um, I'm just I just need to play it once to to like make sure it's the list. 
Excited to test out new cards? Oh, hell yeah. My face is on the wrong side. Thank you for telling me, chat. Aaron Flix coming in with a prime sub. Thanks, Aaron. I appreciate it. So much prime subs. Um, that's so awesome. Is it because of the new Gwent co-op where you basically get a free keg or something? It would be cool if everybody's getting primes just because of the free kegs, to be fair. I had a prime at some point, but then I saw that the Amazon Prime didn't give me anything else. But now that you get a free keg, it's almost worth reconsidering. I was hoping you can go and watch free um, series with it, but then I had to pay something like $5 a South Park episode. I was like, no. <laughs> no, thank you. How do you know Mr. Beast? Well, when I was born, my mom named me Beastie. And Jimmy's mom named him Mr. Beast. And from then on, we were linked from birth. So when we ran into each other in Cape Town, we were like, whoa. We were separated at birth. <laughs> now we found each other. <laughs> we, it's, it's, it's amazing how the universe works, you know? That's basically the whole story, right there. I think they're panicking a bit because they're like, Thrive is beating me turn round one, and I'm playing Getty. Have I ever been in Poland? No, but I'm going in a month and I'm super excited. So this is the perfect opportunity to pass, but I'm not that nice. They're getting desperate. They're obviously playing Gedaneth, so I can't allow them to have Gedaneth. There we go. We have to bleed it out of them. Murder them. Dear gosh, we're not playing Nilfgaard Tupo. We're not in a cult right now, calm down. You get Twitch Prime with Prime Video. Yes, so I wanted to get Prime Video, but also wanted to get Twitch Prime because the whole sub per month thing is very nice if you can give it to somebody. But then the Prime Video was like, it, it gave me basically nothing. Like I was thinking I'm gonna watch some series and stuff and it didn't work out that way. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna bleed them to bits now. Here we go, chat. Let the fun begin. The terminal list on Prime Video, you should watch it. The terminal list. Wait, what? What was that? How did that end up in the graveyard? Should I make their lives really difficult? Yeah, we should, right? Yeah. That's just the, the ethical thing to do. They wouldn't want us to go easy on them. They would want us to give it our all. The terminal drama romance. Let them suffer. <laughs> what have I done? Uh, which apprentice should be fine? Yeah. GG. And now we could pass or 2 of them at this point. It doesn't really matter. Okay, chat. I made up my mind. We're going to 2 of them. So what I'm going to do now is place a scratch a lot. Amazing. That's so cute. I just wish the cat moved a bit more. It would be so cute if the cat like pulled the eye closer and like munched on it or something. Purify it. <laughs> it's a new series on Prime. Oh, it's a new series. The Terminal List. Oh. What are what are they playing? I'm so confused. So 
Oh, this is something entirely different than what I saw. Okay, so now I'm gonna play the second Koshti. Then I'm gonna place the scratch lot. It's now six and triggers everything. Um Yeah, it's fine. New new list kick. New monster list that works. Enjoying it. This is the first time I've played this list on stream and honestly I think it's it's almost as strong as the, the Nilfgaard list. You're gonna do Squirtle? I'm glad because people appear to be too afraid to do that. I mean obviously I could pass here but what would be the fun in that you know so let's do this again. You have two squares Alice. Thank gosh. Somebody needs to do it. Because I'm not going to do it. And I need to steal it from somebody. So thank you very much. Y you can yoink my catalyst. It's fine. You can have it. Just give us a good square, Talus, please. Okay, well, GG, damn. I didn't think it would work that well. <laughs> Yerden. There's no such card as Yerden. Any word on what I need to rewrite? Rewrite. Time is running out for me. <laughs> no, okay, I won't say that. That sounds a bit pushy. Do I need Pallor? We're playing against Overwhelming Hunger, so that's kind of scary. No, not yet. Han looks fine. Honestly, Han looks quite good. Might get rid of this in case we draw it again. Alrighty. We shall begin with... Necker. Going to study... Abroad in... Two months? Ju it's July now, right? June, July, August. Gosh, I can't believe I'm actually studying again in two months. What What is wrong with me? Why but did I do this? Um, how about Spirit Up? And thank you for the follow. So I'm going to study abroad in two months. And would like to have the book on the shelves by then. Con regards, Tia. Sorry, chat. If you want me to stream all day, I will have to multitask. <laughs> um, I could play the main is dark secret. I'm going to play the main is dark secret. Okay, all caught up on emails. This cat is broken. <laughs> this effing cat. Language. How dare they do that. <laughs> prepare to die. Literally, prepared for your death. You have wronged me. Oh no, I looked at the wrong one. I looked at the 32 instead of the 22. <laughs> now that was stupid. Well, let's go. Two points less. Can freeze? No. It's because I... Oh, that's a horrible one as well. Ew. That's, that's better. But I won't recover <laughs> that easily. Is there such a thing as a good Camfries? No. No, there isn't. Nicker. Easy. Give a little give a little boost away to the nine. Kill a little consume. Do a little BM. Run 
prepare to die. Scratch the hell out of every. I have to deny V somehow. We have to go into round two, get Haunt out, and pass. This monster deck looks awesome. Give it a try. Give it a try while it's still fresh. Uh, do I need Bruce? Yes, probably. No. Not the best hand, I'll admit. We do have a Neuromancy, though. We don't have any of our golds in hand. Hmm. We shall start off with the Cursed Damsel. This. Oh, these just I haven't installed Gwent in over a year. I watch my favorite streamers. You should give it a shot again, my friend. You should give it a try. I don't know if we have what it takes to go into a short round, but I feel like I don't have a choice. We haven't played a Nero yet. Ah, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Insult you in Afrikaans. Ek whip jy uh, brand jou mond aan jou koffie of tea vandag. Interesting. I apologize. Ek jammer dat ek vir jou gesê het. Om your mind to burn. It's so jammer. My sister is being weird. <laughs> Waving to me. Sounds like North Guardian language. Uh, thanks for the follow, Bane. I understood coffee. Mm -hmm. You can use your imagination if you'd like for that one. That's my new screensaver, Mosini. No. Why? Okay, this is TR passing, I guess. Is it? Nah. That's weird. That's disturbingly weird, actually. Someone had to record that noise. I'm just throwing away my bad cards, if you can't tell by now. I could have played that on the melee as well, but I don't really care at this point. So the problem is we easily oversaw in a short round. Which is why I'm just throwing away horrible cards that we really don't need. I understood it all was very mean. It was. Trust butterflies. That or stabbing someone in the neck with scissors. Hmm. An innocent girl surrounded by mutilated corpses of her sisters and servants. Don't you pity her? She must be yearning for a comforting embrace. <laughs> Gosh. Okay. Oof. Well, we just lost. That sucks. Oh, 
Uh, we needed at least one of these in our hand. That's a pity, really. Uh, we, can, we don't even have Koshi. Yeah, well, there's no way we're winning now. That's rather unfortunate. I have a 12 point card in the graveyard, but it's not a lot. If we did draw into at least Koshi, we'd have two Koshis. And then we'd be able to draw a so scratch a lot with our own Neuromancy. So that was just a bad draw. Aw, that's unfortunate. BM Karma. Oh, now you're just getting cocky. I'm here for it. Escape enter? No, we do not do that. Under no circumstances do we do that. We played out until the very last breath. If there's even a small chance, we do it. Do they have a four point card for us? <laughs> four point card, yes. Why you do this? Why do you do this? It was close. Okay, it was close. Let's be honest here. <laughs> if we if our hand was even slightly better, we won. Okay, but let's do this again. We're not giving up on so scratch lot. It's not happening. We're gonna win this one. Easy. You're gonna win by so many points. It's, it's gonna be ridiculous. To be fair, the, f the fact that they were playing V was cheating already. Like, who even plays V? It, it's beyond me. Easily would have won. Yeah, we literally would have won. If we just had Karantir into so Scratch Lot or Koshi, we won by like a bunch of points actually. Opponents game translates as have no brains from Russian. <laughs> really interesting. Okay, let's go. Okay, it's gonna be the new Grace we ability. Nice. Awesome. Okay, I'm excited. We're playing against an actual new deck. Nice. Mm. Okay. 
Boost the next unit you play by two. If it is a knight, also infuse it with. At the end of your turn, boost up by one. That's not ideal, but there's absolutely nothing we can do about it. So I'm going to start off with our Mainer's Dark Secret right off the bat. This. These Let's go make Syndic a double scenario deck. <laughs> Not yet. Right, left, right. Infuse it with at the end of your turn boost up by one. So they should surely have played a knight here. That's a like they're literally just wasted a one point engine. What is that card back? I've never seen it and it looks amazing. Oh, that's the new one, isn't it? Nice. Okay. So now, every time we play a card that doesn't trigger Thrive, it will get boosted by two. At the end of your turn, boost self by one for each adjacent boosted unit, and damage self by one for each adjacent damaged unit. Grace nine, give adjacent units shield, then infuse them with whenever this unit loses shield, boost self by two. <sighs> okay, so this is a two-point engine. Gotcha. Oh, I don't have another Thrive card. I'm gonna have to draw one. Redania Knight. Grace 8 boost adjacent units by one. Oh, that is just asking to get Yardened. So badly. to the follow. Any rain-free decks? No, but I have played around with a potential rain-free deck. Queen Meave. Dear gosh. Okay. Uh, next we'll go with the Witch Apprentice. Time of three inspired. It has to be inspired. So we got a nice Osrael for later. I made one, it feels like a meme so far. The rain free deck. So I can technically, technically pass. Hmm. No, no, I'm not passing. I want a really short round with Sir Scratch a lot. And Leo, thanks for the follow. And B Woody, do you think NR is still going to be good on this patch? I think it has potential to be good. And Philipsis and Zakari, welcome. Okay, at least we have Sir Scratch a lot. And the Tarnished Simp and Thrish Prince of Bel Air. Now, I need to deny whatever the hell they're planning on doing, that's for sure. A fellow monster player, let's go, yes. Squire again. I can just kill that. I'm considering it because I want commitment from them. So have we used the Nero? We have. Okay, so we're going to have to Karant here into that. Gosh, even an Osral at 18 points is going to be amazing. 19 points. Long live, etc. 
There we go. That's what I wanted. <laughs> um, I'm too afraid to even read what this does. Uh, I remember it's faintly. Summon a bronze knight from your deck to this row. Whenever an ally unit triggers grace boost into adjacent units by two. Spawn and play mad charge. We can get another card out of them. Probably. Can I afford to though? If I fall behind I'll be very sad. Not worth it. Donimir. Bye bye. I was playing Evil Northguard earlier. I was. I was playing Evil Northguard. You too can join my cult if you'd like. Like, whatever is happening there, I want no part in it. Ooh, I got a response. I have asked for an insight on the issue and will revert as soon as possible. You know you're working with an editing company when they use language like that. Hell yes. I think we win chat. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, this should be good. Freezes Blair. Oh, it's because I went onto the email. I, I'm not allowed to click on anything else or else my stream punishes me. It's like, Tia, how dare you not give full attention to your stream? We are very upset. A decent freeze. <laughs> Yeah, that was an alright freeze. I wouldn't call it decent, okay? Calm, calm down. <laughs> We're gonna start off with the beautiful so scratch a lot. <sighs> this is going to be fun. An intense freeze. Yeah, it's at this point I don't even know if it's the camera. It's probably the PC and some more spyware. I don't know. Infuse an allied unit with whenever this unit receives a boost from other abilities boost up by the same amount. I mean, I can't even interact with that, so I'm not even going to bother looking at it. <laughs> let's go, let's go. This is going to look beautiful. Watch, we're on 19 points now. It's not going to be 19 for long. You go, so scratch a lot. You go, girl. Or, or guy. I don't know what gender this cat is. I don't want to make any mistakes by accident. I mean, I guess... <laughs> I guess we could look. I'm no cat expert, though. I mean, they told me my cat... It's a sir. <laughs> I mean, I prefer that people call me sir as well. So, no, I didn't make a stupid mistake. <laughs> Call me Sir Tia Beastie from now on. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's likely a male cat. I'm sorry, Sir Scratch a lot. I've made a crucial error in judgment. <sighs> Just played 10 matches with Nilfgaard deck. Only lost once in a mirror match. Well done, GG. Yeah, like, again, I'm not even going to try and figure out what's going on here. It's none of my business, as far as I am concerned. No! That's fine. Like, if, if Pixie asked me to call her sir, I would. It's out of my hands. Wee. Wee. Wait, what did she say? Scarlet dress. Scarlet hands? Tongue? How are the new cards? Amazing. I'm so happy with them. This might be one of the best expansions we've gotten in a very long time. 
And I am not just saying that. I see your fear. I mean, I can play Force of Nature, but they're probably gonna pass now. Keep enjoying the stream. Less than three. I should have played it in the range row, but who are we kidding? We don't need to. Like, we're gonna get a 19 point Azra right now. Penelation, thank you so much for the sub, I appreciate it. To me, this is indicating that they want to see my last card, and I will happily show them my last card. Um, hey, it's Burja. Hi, Burja, how are you doing? Are you enjoying our amazing deck? It is, it is good, is it not? I'm only doing this because they want me to, to clarify. They definitely wanted me to do that. You're good? I am great. I'm having so much fun. Even though it wouldn't have gotten him ahead. Indicating that he wanted to see my last card. That is what I'm assuming. Normally if you're in a hurry you pass. If you know you're going to lose. And then your opponent has to pass. But if they play their last card. Even though they know they're going to lose. That means they maybe want to see what's left i know i know there's a lot of sportsmanship rules that you sort of have to know by just knowing it <laughs> it's a good amount of points and also rat pain thank you so much for the prime sub i appreciate it that's really kind of you guys i hope you're all doing well having a great day um is this the hand? Is this the hand? Y yes. We shall start off with... Oh, we're playing against Patricidal Fury, are we? Interesting. If they pass, I assume they want to see the card too. <laughs> okay, so JCM is just going to play the last card no matter what. I mean, that's fair enough. I was hoping it's not a Sahil deck. I wonder if we're okay against the hill. <sighs> okay, we're still gonna do this. And I'm gonna force you to use your leader ability, sa. Can you share this deck? Yes, I can. Here you go. Enjoy. There we go, Arnulf. Now. I could play a defender and make their life difficult. But that's going to be difficult as well. Brockford Hunter. Wait, what was that? Oh, um, in initiative. Okay, so I need to focus real quick. What is the best outcome here? Hmm... Then I play Defender. Um, I can't get in either. So he'll just lose us if it can't go in round one. Yes, so I'm just going to Defender. Hope you're enjoying the new patch. Hey, Obzio. Yes, having so much fun. Are you going to be jumping in as well on stream or what's your plan? Definitely, I'm going for the Cave Troll right now. I mean, that's the only option here. Is to go for the Cave Troll. So now, unless they can remove my cave troll, so he's gonna have a hard time. And they already committed their Arnulf. There we go. So what's the final card? Okay, so now I don't have a Thrive card, which is problematic. I will have to go for... Hmm... I could go for Brewers. Which is enough. All right, let's go. Three, four, five, six, seven, three, four, five. So we're gonna have to go into a long round, which is also fine, I guess. Great to hear. I will this evening, hopefully, uh, as long as the login issues are fixed by... Are there login issues? I like to be in the rope and then drop the last card at the last minute. I'm sure, I'm sure that definitely gets you a GG, 100%. Um, Daysang, thanks for the follow, I appreciate it. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we have Koshi in hand, which is great. Um, do I start with Spirit Up? I'm going to be a card down if I do, but it's going to be such a nice last say card. If I start with Spirit Up, it's going to tick once. Then I'll pass, it will tick twice. And they'll still get ahead. Unless I'm okay with going a car down. <sighs> Am I okay with going a car down? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Mm, not really. They'll probably damage it as well. Then I can at least pass. Uh, Janae's thinks for the follow. I think I can turn off my heater. So if you can't log into the game, that means I should definitely <laughs> not log out at any cost. Okay, there we go. Um, this is looking good. We can thin now. Yeah, don't log out people or else you can't log in. That's normally how it works. <laughs> For some reason, if you're in, you're in. Armor up. No! Well, that's me getting out. <sighs> so many notifications. Um, so I don't want to give them any value for Sahil. I definitely need to get out, though. So I have a 12-point card in the graveyard now. Uh, or do I keep pushing? I don't know. Load shedding starting in 55 minutes. That's okay. I've got a UPS. Have you ever had an infinite loading screen? Mm. Okay, so you guys are struggling to get in. Oh, that's too bad. It probably means there's a quick uh, update taking place. I guess. Yeah, try updating the game and then it, it should get fixed quickly. People thinking that Koshi is the threat instead of Kitty. So we got a Neuromancy. Oh, great stuff. So we actually get out with six cards. Now they're going to play Sahil though. I think Sahil's on three points. Yeah, now it's going to be on four. We're going to have to pack everything behind a defender. Renfrey deck with Anna Henrietta. Is Anna Henrietta not going to be difficult with Renfrey as well? Because you're going to have to use like three leader abilities in one game. You have to just time it right, I guess. Hmm. Okay, that's better. Hmm. Your defender was played round one. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. This is kind of awkward.
Uh, Domi, thanks for the sub, I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome to the pack, it's great to have you here. Don't have delirium. <laughs> so they have a Sahil and the reason we're not playing our cards is because that Sahil would literally just have grown bigger with every single one of these. What they're left with is a lot of raid cards that are going to be pretty big. And if we can deny that, that would be amazing. But right now, it's literally pointless. But points? We wouldn't have points anyway. They would literally just kill that card. That's the problem. See? Now we have no choice but to do this. So now they can pick what they want to kill. They can kill Koshi or they can kill Kitty. See? So he'll just grows bigger. Hmm. I bet you it might be closer than you think. Let's see. I'm surprised they still have bronzes left after all this time. I should have played the Necker first. Ah, Tia, that was stupid of you. Well, I also get two points a turn now, unless Sahil takes it out. No chance to win? Yeah, I have a chance to win. It just depends what their last cards are. I mean, one of, yeah, there's Sahil at six, kills that. Do you still have a bronze left? Uh, thanks for the follow, D-Links. Will I ever get out of the loading screen? Uh, I'd, I'd go out completely if I were you. It means that the site is down for now. So you'd have to wait a little bit. What is happening? Who said we're not winning? I must have missed you while winning. <laughs> I must have missed you by accident. I couldn't hear you over all this winning happening right now. <laughs> uh, thanks for the follow, Luther. GG, let's go, let's go get your decks while they're fresh. 